It's great themes that we could all use, even if we're not kids, although I'm still a kid. I mean, look at how I'm dressed. <laughs> Uh, and uh, the idea was really so organic. I mean, in the past, I would often, I'd make fun of celebrities that would write children's books. But then I was at an event talking about my second book, uh, which was about celebrities, which I know a lot about. And Mario Lopez, who, who hosts Extra just over there, uh, was promoting his children's book. Then I very flippantly said, oh, I should write a children's book too, about a boy with pink hair. And I had never thought of that idea, so it was as if, you know, the gods of inspiration plunked it right in my big old head. And as soon as that happened, I was like, oh my gosh, I need to do this. And my publisher was very hesitant at first, probably because they were thinking the same thing a lot of people were thinking. What is, he, what is he thinking? But then, you know, a lot of stuff happened in the world and in my life. And unfortunately, a lot of, you know, gay teenagers started committing suicide. And I was very vocal about that. And, you know, this is just another step in me trying to share light and pinkness, which, who doesn't like pink? I love pink, it's like cotton candy. And thank you to Barnes & Noble for lots of cotton candy backstage. I'm trying to be all healthy, but I did have some. Uh, and thank you to Lady Gaga for the lovely quote and being an inspiration. Look at that, she's the first quote there. I, I, I gotta, I, you know, I, I can't believe I got Lady Gaga, 